Talking to me? You're talking to me, Polly. Ah, don't look at me, Polly. What are you talking about, Frankie? Come on. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Jersey Born, and this is going to be the intro video slash some games pack opening as well of the first episode of the Sopranos Hockey Ultimate Team. I decided to name my team Sopranos because, well, I'm from Jersey. I'm from a very Italian area of New Jersey too. I grew up right by where the Jersey Shore TV show took place. So, yeah, that's that's a little pretty negative part of New Jersey where people think it is, but it's not exactly all like that. Of course, there's some people who embrace the thing, but it's for the most part, it's not like that. But uh, Sopranos was a huge thing in New Jersey. Uh, it's probably one of the greatest shows of all time, in my opinion. And it was a huge thing in New Jersey. So here you see I'm going through this first pack. The players have already passed, but I got... Uh, Alsner from the Capitals, the defenseman. I got Mike Camilleri, who's a great player. I kept him on the team. And then I also got uh, David Jones from the Flames. I kept all three of those guys. And now here for the second pack, as you see it opens up. And we got Sutter from the Penguins. He's a decent player, decent two-way forward. I think he's my first line center right now. Marty Brodeur we got, but I ended up selling him. Nicholas Backstrom is... My starter, I rotate him and Jason Peters because Marty at the time was going for like 2,500 coins and I didn't really have too many coins, so I was like, ah, let's just sell him, get a decent amount of coins back from him. Uh, we also got later in this, you see, we got uh, Smith, I forget, I think it's like Ryan Smith from the Bruins, uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I got him in that pack. And that was all I got in that pack, or did I get Johnny Boychuk in this one? All I know is I got few decent players in that pack and then we open the third pack and drum roll please we've got Nicholas Backstrom 89 overall Nicholas Backstrom and that guy he went for as you see there his last price sold is like 4,500 coins so I saw let me 45,000 coins I saw that and I was like holy poop and uh, of course I didn't keep him on the team I ended up selling him and now I have like a little bit over 90k coins. So I mean, I'm, I'm pretty set when it comes to coins. I mean, yeah, you always want to get make more coins, but I could build a pretty decent team with 90k coins. And now for the fourth pack, it comes up and we've got just a bunch of non-rare golds. We've got Jamie McGinn. Uh, we got a, quite a few Avalanche players because I've got Jamie McGinn, I've got Holden, uh, all these contract cards, but I ended up was able to make a pretty decent avalanche line where I've got Jamie McGinn um, What's the guy's name? I forget his first name, but his last name is Mitchell. He's the center and then at the other winger I've got Alex Tangay there. You see I got Jones the backup goalie for the Kings and uh, I think like my second or third line is that avalanche line because I still don't have the the best team It's just guys I've gotten from PAX while I've been trying to get a few coins here and there and that's what I've been doing with that. And now, for the fifth pack, we've got Jason Pominville. Mike Smith, who, well, Mike Smith's the guy who always seems to have just bad thing after bad thing after bad thing happen to him. He's got the, he got ran into, like, three or four times, it seems like. He had that goal that he, that the overtime winner that landed in his pants, and he backed up into the net, so it was a goal. And the guy just gets bad luck after bad luck. And to see in this pack, I got, also got Alex Tangay. And then for this last pack, I didn't have enough for a premium gold jumbo, so I just got a regular pack. And what do you know, I got another Mike Smith, and he goes for a decent amount. So the two Mike Smiths, the Pominville, the Backstrom, they pretty much set me up for a pretty decent amount of coins to have. So next episode, you guys will see this. I'll have a pretty decent team. But before I do that, let's jump into some games. So the first game at hand is between the 1 and 2 Sopranos and the 11 and 19 and 2 Go Sport. And early on in the first period, David Jones forced a turnover and Brian McGratton, the enforcer, it's a 2 on 1 situation, pass to David Jones and he snipes it in the net for the first goal of the game. 
The Sopranos take a 1-0 lead. Later on in the first, it was another turnover, this time on the Soprano side of the ice, and a nice save by Nicholas Backstrom. But he wasn't so lucky later on, as there was a big hit behind the net, and then the Go Sport team was able to punch it in as it deflected off of the Sopranos defender's stick, and it was a 1-1 hockey game here at the end of the first. And then we hit pick things back up in the second. Look at all these shots on net. We've got two, we've got three. And we got another Devil's Possession pass to the slot. Another shot, and it's saved and covered up. Very nice saves by the Ghost Sport goaltender. The Sopranos seem to have trouble defending right off the faceoff all night long. As the start of the third period, the slap shot from Garbutt went in the net top shelf. Made it a 2-1 Ghost Sport lead. Later on the third, not much later on, it was passed over to Jim Slater. Avoided a hit from the D-man, cut to the slot, took a wrist shot, went top shelf off the post. Jim Slater made it a 3-1 to one game, but then later on the third, at the very end of the third period, crossed a slot, and then Mitchell was able to put it in, a member of the Avalanche line, but it was too little too late, as Ghost Sport would come away with the lead, 3-2, to two, and they took the win. The next game on hand for today is between the 1-3 and three Sopranos and the 9-2 and two White People here at The Rock. And once again, the Sopranos had more trouble off the faceoff as Michael Botka gets the puck put on the move, splits two defenders, and goes backhand off the pads. And he puts it in for an early 1-0 white people lead. Later on, the first, trying to hit Pavel Datsuk is like trying to nail Jello to a tree. And he proves this bad as he dangles the goalie to put it in the net and give the white people a 2-0 lead. About seven minutes left in the first period. It's still 2-0 score and Froelich finds Schwartz. And may the Schwartz be with you as he makes a 3-0 lead for white people at the end of the first. Second period action, Sopranos have the puck, wrist shot from Holden from the blue line, trickles past Howard, and Suter does the rest, puts it past him for the first goal of the game for the Sopranos. 3-1 puck game now, as Nick Foligno on the breakaway here, and he gets hit, and he can't get the shot off net. Nice defense from white people. Later on the third, pass across the slot, and on the rebound! Alex Tange using his great hands to slap in the second goal of the game for the Sopranos. But it'll be too little too late as white people would be able to hold off Sopranos and they come away with the win. And with that being said, it'll wrap things up for episode one of the Sopranos Hockey Ultimate Team. I've been your host, Jersey Vaughn, and I'm saying goodbye.